What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and today's video is brought to you by Carlock. I hope you're all having a great week so far. I've got a cool mod or part for the F30 today and I'm really excited because this company is They've got the right intention. They've got the right product, the right intention, especially for, I mean, yeah, this goes for any cars, but especially you guys with modded vehicles. You enthusiasts out there who spend a lot of money and a lot of time on your cars, but sometimes don't remember that you have to protect the investment. Before we get into opening up and unboxing and installing, I wanna give you guys a quick little story about the F30. So back when I first picked up this car, I had parked it in a very, very, very busy, uh, kind of like an intersection, a very busy part of the city. So um, I had actually gone to go grab some food, left the F30 there, and unfortunately, someone hit my car. They were trying to back into a spot right in front of me and his trailer hitch basically just mashed in my front bumper. Um, I had to get the whole new bumper fixed. I had to get the grills replaced. I had to get all sorts of stuff behind it kind of repaired. So guys, this is just something that I know I will make great use of and it's something that everyone should be using. I know the technology and the security in our BMWs is pretty good. Um, but this is an advanced tracking system. This new product by CarLock will allow you to track your car at any given time, if it's on the move or if it's parked. It will also alert you if your car is bumped, if it's hit, if someone tries to break in. And I'll show you guys just how cool it is. I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. It's, uh, this is everything guys. This is everything you need that you get. So let's go ahead and put this down and open it up. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up very 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 simple very easy install but we can just slide this off like that and we've got this nice little black box underneath that we can go ahead and open and inside you will notice we have this obd looking device this is really the only hardware to this entire thing it's very simple to get this installed on your own car as long as you have an obd port uh, pretty much most cars from i think like maybe even the late 90s to now. Basically all cars have an OBD port and it's what they use to basically run diagnostics on your car, get any information on like any problems or issues with the car. So that's where this is gonna go. I'm not gonna show you my activation code, but right behind the device itself, you'll see this card with your activation code right there. So just go ahead and download the app, which I have to do right now that we can start working on this F30. This uh, software is good for iPhone and Android users. So if you just go ahead and download the app, it's this top one right here, which you can see I've already done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit open. It's giving us some information. Security, monitor your vehicle on your smartphone from anywhere in the world. Let's see, awareness, detect trouble driving behaviors such as a drag racing, stunt driving, and speeding. Who does that? No one should be doing that. Health, monitors your vehicle's electrical system and you get notified in the event of a low battery. History, easily review the routes and destinations your vehicle has taken in the past. And now I think we're ready to get this thing started. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit finish down here. And then it's gonna prompt you guys to uh, put in your email and log in and all that stuff. So go ahead and set that up. My mistake, don't hit login. You wanna hit the bottom one on this last page that says set up new device. And it should bring you here where you can put in your activation code and your serial number. Right underneath my thumb here, you have the activation code and the serial number. So just go ahead and pop those into the app and then we can get started on the, um, I guess the hardware install of this device. Once you've put in your information and the activation code, you'll see this page come up where you can select your vehicle manufacturer. In this case, it's BMW. You can hit the model. Oh, we gotta type this one in. So we'll do three, two, eight, well, oh, three, two, nine, that would be weird. Oh my gosh, I can't do this while holding the camera, hold on. Eight, I, there we are, 328i. Uh, location is America, I don't think we get more specific than that, maybe we do. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on that. I think that's more of like time zone. Yeah, it's like time zone. Um, and then yes, we're in the United States, so we'll hit next. Privacy, accept. And now I think we're on our way, so I'll go ahead and just wait for this to load. Just got the app all set up. I think now we're ready to put this into the OBD. So in your BMW, at least for the F30s, you will find your OBD port basically right underneath here, kind of uh, directly past your trunk release. So just go ahead and pop this up in there. It will only fit in one way. So just pop it in and it should just click into place and then it, it really won't move after that. 
And look at that, right off the bat, as soon as I plugged it in, it said device connected, BMW 328. It gives you the date and the time. So that's awesome. Now it says go for a drive to get a valid GPS location because right now we are not in Chinatown. So this isn't reading right. And uh, this massive truck is being loud as hell. So hopefully he goes away and doesn't come back. We'll go for a quick little spin here, see if we can get the GPS to locate us. So while we're waiting for this to locate us, this is such a great idea and a great product because you guys know how much money goes into these cars and these projects and besides the money you know how much time and effort goes into these projects and i've spent countless hours and i'm not too worried about the money portion although yes it would suck uh to lose a car like this but more than anything it's just so much more sentimental value and that's the real reason why i'm very very happy to work with this company and i'm very happy to promote their product because honestly there's not enough guys out there who are protecting their investments. So not to scare you, but just to maybe like open your eyes a bit, it does happen. You see it on Instagram, you know, on Facebook and stuff, guys, cars get stolen, whatever. Um, it's just, it's a good thing to have and something good to protect your investment. The GPS just found me. So now we are all set. I'm gonna go ahead and find another spot to park so I can show you a little bit more about this device. Now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and try and test this out. So what I'm gonna do first is lock the car and now it's basically in security mode and anything that the car detects, I should get notified. Um, so let's go ahead and just try first by starting the car and see if that picks it up. I just went for a little roundabout drive, made a quick little circle and uh, sure enough, it alerted me that the car was accelerating at the time, the date, and if I click on it, it will, of course I'm still in the same spot, but it would show me exactly where that coordinate was. So that's really helpful if the car is on the move, you can live track it. So let's say someone steals your car, you'll get the notification on your phone and then live updates as it goes. So if you were in that scenario, you could call the police and hypothetically tell them exactly where the car is, where it was stolen, where it's going right now, how fast it's going. And I think that's super helpful. I mean, the chances of cops finding a car are pretty decent 90% of the time. They usually do find it, but usually it's too late. The car's either been like parted out or sometimes they just beat the hell out of the car and then leave it somewhere. So either way, it's good to know. And live updates is super helpful. So like I said, if anyone's taken off in your car, you can hypothetically chase them down. If you have another car or you call the police, let them chase them down. Super cool app, very easy. Uh, again, if you ever wanna put the car into lock mode, like let's say if you park it, uh, you just go ahead and hit that lock button. You'll see the circumference turn red and now the system is engaged. Um, another cool thing I wanted to show you guys, you have all sorts of settings in here. So you have dashboard, you can see how many miles you've driven, how many trips you've taken, your average speed, your top speed, all that good stuff. Um, you can also get a log here so you can see the device was connected. Um, I'm not sure why the next one didn't pop up yet. Maybe it takes a little second to uh, update. But um, then we can do this thing, which is a car tag. That's another device that they offer. And then you can go into settings too, and you can change like the color of your app and all that stuff. So if I hit like uh, brightness, maybe we'll shoot that up. Actually, I kind of liked, uh, we'll shoot, shoot for this. So now we've got a red. Um, I'm actually gonna change it to uh, blue again, just because the red is like the engaged mode. And I don't want to confuse myself. So we'll save that. Uh, you can go back here, you can change your icon, so it comes factory with uh, just the car. I opted for the sports car, you could opt for the supercar, whatever you want. Then you can also change all sorts of stuff, so you can change like vibration, signal loss, so if the car ever loses GPS signal, um, you can turn that on so that way it will notify you. Um, harsh driving and speeding, you can uh, adjust, so like speeding, um, I'll probably shoot that up to like, I don't know, maybe 100, 100 miles an hour. If I'm doing 100, it's gonna alert me. And uh, we can go back there. But it's really cool, guys. Very user-friendly, easy app, very customizable. So you've got like BMW 328 up there, super cool. Now what I'm gonna do is try and test out the vibration and see if I can get it to set the alarm off. So again, I'll just go ahead and lock it. So that way we are in security mode and I'm gonna hop out of the car Actually, that might set it off right there. To maybe mimic the uh, vibration of someone trying to like break a window or break your door handle or however the hell they would try and get in your car, I just pop the trunk. I'm gonna see if slamming the trunk will set this off. This is pretty cool too. So it shows you your signal um, as well as your car's battery level. So 12.4, I think that's pretty good right where you want it to be. 
Uh, looks like that's on the min actually, so we could go up a little bit, maybe needs a charge. But again, with like winter approaching and maybe you live even somewhere colder than I do here in Massachusetts, um, batteries don't love the cold. So, you know, if your battery is on the outs and you say, let's park the car and leave it overnight, uh, maybe overnight the battery drains out, you'll get a notification so you can start to anticipate getting a tow, getting a new battery, getting a battery charge, getting a jump pack, something along those lines. So it's very helpful, very helpful in numerous ways. And sure enough, I just got back in the car and we got a vibration detected at the state at 349. You can see it just happened. So everything is working as it should. Oh, we got an engine started code as well. So that's really cool. So you can tell if someone just say like opens your door or maybe bumps into the car but this will actually tell you if the engine has started and that's why hooking it up to your OBD is so useful because it allows this app access to a lot of information that can be helpful in the case of your car getting hit or stolen. And we can go back into the app and if we get the vibration detected, it will actually show you exactly where that happened. And again, the timestamp and everything. So no need to worry if your car goes, well, worry a little bit, but <laughs> this should help a little bit alleviate the stress. So again, this video is not meant to scare you. It's not meant to frighten you. It's just meant to kind of open your eyes a bit to the real world. I know a lot of us, we love our cars, we get so engulfed in them, and we kind of just forget the reality of life. And things happen to cars, and especially cars that are modified and nice, and maybe parked in worse areas. So just a very good tool to have, very great access to information in case your car is in an accident. So um, just super helpful. And honestly, if I was back when I had first picked this car up and I was eating, and someone hit my car, I would have been notified right away and I could have gone out to the car, which is very funny because uh, when I was on my way back to my car, before I had car lock, I was walking up and I see the guy and he was putting a note on my car and I was just like, oh no, he must have hit me. So sure enough, I go over and the first things he said is, is this your car? I just hit you. I left, but my wife told me to come back and leave my information. So guys, Thank God that guy's wife was very sensible and a good person, but it sounds like this guy wasn't and if his wife wasn't there to talk some sense into him I would have been stuck with all the costs of getting my bumper fixed grills fixed and everything So this is so great and like I said I would have known exactly when he hit me and I would have ran out to my car and found it before he even left That being said though guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. It's a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it I'm very very enthusiastic and so excited to have this in the f30 just gonna make it feel that much better, a little bit safer. I can sleep a little better at night knowing that it's safe when I have to park it in worse areas. So, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Carlock, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and sending this out. I'm excited. I'll hopefully get you guys some more updates. Hopefully, I'll never need this, but in case I do, it's good to have. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep elevating. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.